Henry Johnston, 411 North Allman, Space 518 in Moscow. <clears throat> Madam Mayor and members of the Council, two weeks ago I wrote you all an email expressing my extreme displeasure in the awarding of the Earth, Protester, Earth Protectors Award to the group of megalode protesters that embarrassed our city for, seven, uh, for several months. Since I only got a reply from two of you, I'm going to guess that the email got lost, so I want to reiterate it here this evening and get a formal response from the mayor at the next meeting. Madam Mayor, while you may have seen a small but determined group of area residents, many of us saw a group of immature adults living in a town that has not forced them to grow up. By your own admission, you attended a number of the protests to, as you said, bear witness and let the transporter know that people cared. The behavior exhibited by the protesters was embarrassing to our community and a far cry from exercising their rights to free speech. I presented you in my email a link provided by a local website known as Moscow Cares that showed the first megalode protest uh, in August. Madam Mayor, I have enough decorum to not repeat or even try to redact some of the comments that were made by those protesters and shouted at the transporter as they came through our town. At the end of that first night, many of the protesters were arrested and one damaged county property by kicking out the window of a sheriff's van. That is hardly a peaceful protest in my book. While the remaining protests were not as large or as impassioned as the first, the stage was set. You set the tone for this, Madam Mayor, by attending the protests and not calling for civility, and by writing your own letter of opposition to the loads after the council had specifically passed a resolution welcoming them to our town. You've set the standard that this level of Vietnam-era disrespect for polite society can continue for whatever else these citizens wish to protest. The employees of the transport company did not ask nor deserve the verbal abuse that was piled upon them by these protesters. The oil company was well within their rights to be permitted by the Idaho Transportation Department to transport the loads on state highways and like or dislike where they were headed or what they were being used for, the behavior of the protesters was, quite frankly, immature. While I understand that these awards are well within your prerogative to award as mayor, I truly feel that you slapped the face of the silent majority of this town, the silent majority who slept at the odd hours of the night when the loads came through, the silent majority who got up and went to work the next day to pay taxes to fund the roads and the police department that these overgrown children, <coughs> that the police department who kept these overgrown children in line. Madam Mayor, I apologize. You act as if you have a mandate to do things like this, but you simply do not. It was shown in your most recent election where 40 votes separated you from your opponent, and it has also been shown in the last two elections that have drastically changed the makeup of the city council. Ultimately, the awards have been given, and that will not change. I just wanted to share my thoughts so that you know I am one of the many Moscow residents who did not agree with your actions. Thank you.